mark taken. No, oh. drop by Hadley. So, she will be disappointed with that. And a boundary throw in the attacking side of right centre wing for the Dockers. When the ball's in the Dockers forward line, ruck contest, the Dockers shouldn't have too many players around. Just make sure there's plenty of space for the two or three who are there and have the two or three who are there, the quality players. Pavola off again, grim looking scene on the Carlton bench. Ibbotson puts it forward, Thornton attacked it. Sandlin's to peak, the tackle needed to stick and it did from Joseph. And he wins the free kick. Oh, that really was uh, seat of the pan stuff. Now Bauer just looked a little uncertain at times tonight. Bryce Gibbs, he'll be mown down if he doesn't hurry. And in the end, he kicks in a hurry. Hampson, Tarrant, been pretty good. Purposeful discipline. Hampson again, Gibbs. Good pressure from Tarrant. He wins the day. Deserves a decent result here. Doesn't get it initially. Armfield, a good tackle on De Boer. Cruiser. Gibbs and Carlton can build again, but they're forced wide. And Betts is uh, out positioned and out strength by Dodd. Good collect cloak, but then didn't know what to do with it. Betts in a hole, nowhere to go. Ball just sat on the line, didn't go out. And the Dockers come away with it. They are playing with their tails up. Shammer into the corridor where they've headed all night. Sandilands to Hazelby, they're playing winning football. Pavlich at the end of it, but there are two against him. And Pavlich goes to ground, which makes it easy for Brett Thornton. Thornton, short kick. Mark taken by Scotland, inside to Bauer. They can set something up here. Gibbs is in the centre circle. Needs to use it effectively. Going for Hampson, all cloak, big pack, ball to the back. Chance for Pratt. Look out, young man, you're in trouble. Rob by Yaron, an inspiring goal from the young blue. Chris Yaron kicks his first goal in AFL football. And look at this for a steal. Pratt trying to get it over the top to Tarrant. And don't like to say it on the first game, but Luke Pratt a couple of times just hasn't looked as though he's picked up the tempo of the match. And a mistake there costing the Dockers a goal. Well, they're in snapshot of the highs and lows of a debut in league football. Luke Pratt, tackled by Sean Hampson, gave the footy up. It was gleefully snared by Chris Yaron, who kicked the goal. And Hampson's gone to full forward because Favola's been taken from the field. And that's a good move because uh, it wasn't working and the coach had to make changes. Good to see young Yaron get his first goal in AFL. 23 minutes between Carlton goals. The margin back to 15. And Carlton swarming the footy here. Gibbs having a big influence in the last few minutes in front of Nick Stevens, who lost it. Peak didn't to Sanderlands. Takes it wide. Simpson will see it over. Needed to be careful, he didn't nudge it off his boot. Well, we'll have a look at Sanderlands at this boundary throw in. 32 hit outs the big man's had. And the next highest is seven to Cruiser. So he's just dominated the big fella. Reaching over Johnson, may have even won that. Solomon tried to get it to Hayden, couldn't quite. Betts providing a contest. Stevens thrown out of the play. Judd, Bauer, now to Brett Thornton. Loser kicked the last goal, they can kick another one here. Right back in the ball game. Joseph takes on Shammer. Ducks around him, then drives it deep. Looking for a big, tall target. Cloak up in front, not taken by Grover. Murphy outnumbered four on one here. Grover oh, gives it up after all that to Hanson who snaps hurriedly just offline. He might have had options. Yeah, he did well though, uh, Cameron Cloak, to bring that ball to ground. Well, Carlton playing with two uh, very tall forwards up there. Hasn't been a lot of crumbing power though, and the ball has been kicked high. They've really had to improvise here. Mundy back to Dodd in the goal square. Shammer just pokes it out to half-back. Pratt, the youngster, will be a little nervous after that mishap a moment ago. McFarlane is his best result here. DeBoer with him. And Hayden. Russell on his hammer. Hayden in towards the 50 and releasing peak. Carlton going to have to try and get some pressure on. Judd worked hard. 
Oh, now, what do you do in that situation? I mean, you, you, you do, do exactly what you have one instinct, don't you? <laughs> he had pressure on him, Brett Thornton, so that's OK. So another opportunity missed there by the Dockers as weight in the back pocket, kicks back to Thornton. Gee, uh, Gibbs has had a big third term, 12 disposals. Now Murphy loops the handball over the top to Jamison. Scotland in support. Favola back on. Bauer back to Scotland. Just got the kick away in time. Ball to the back. Chance for Mundy now. Tackle from Cruiser. Dubious looking handball towards Ibbotson who dives on it. Needs to get it out quickly. A little fumble from Mundy but he recovers. Got nothing to go to on the wing. So forced to kick it high and hope. Pavlich is held by Stevens. No free kick. Chance for Murphy. Well done, Hill. Beautifully done by Stephen Hill. Will he take Gibbs on? He does. Gibbs too much strength, though. Pushed him off the footy. Good tackle. He returned by Hill. What's the umpire do here? He lets it go. Stevens to no one. Chance for Ibbotson. Concedes ground back to Duffield. He's got three or four targets inside the centre square. Goes for the longer of the four. Gee, as the three-quarter time siren sounds, and we've got a ball game because the margin at three-quarter time is 15 points. Sportsbet.com.au have Carlton at $2.15, Fremantle at $1.70 as the final term gets underway. And beautiful tap from Sandilands down to Pavlich, couldn't quite affect the clearance. Chance at ground level, diving in on top of the footy, Solomon gets to his feet in the tackle, going nowhere, and a bounce. Attacking side of the circle for the Blues. 1-6 Carlton kicked in that third quarter to Fremantle's 2-2, two -two, so wasted plenty of opportunities as Sandilands gets handball straight to Mundy. He was under the pump. Murphy's got it now. He's tackled, so another bounce. So seven scoring shots to four, but Carlton just couldn't convert some early opportunities. So with their record in final quarters, they'll be coming back. There's no question about that as Hayes will be rest it clear, taken by Murphy. Handball a little too fierce for Wade, who was able to knock it wide. Leads in the race. Chance for Hayden to apply a tackle. Just pushed him enough to affect the kick. Shammer's got it now. Well tackled and turned by Waite. Grover. And Grover now in space. Runs the full measure. Drives it deep towards half forward. Coming to meet him. McFarlane. Oh, he did all the hard work. Couldn't take the mark. Thornton mops up. Off the bow. Gee, that wasn't great play. Hayden and Armfield. Picked up by Bauer again. Held a long time in the tackle. Now a chance for the champ, Judd. Handball's back to Thornton, little fumble, so forced just to jam it on the boot, hoist it high, Sandlands could mark it, ball to the back, Murphy, well played by Mark Murphy, read it well, and a beautiful kick to Betsu, spills the beans, now a chance for Dodd, Mundy's got it, can kick a long way David Mundy from 50, kicks offline, through for a behind, that would have been a crushing blow to the Blues early in this final quarter, but Mundy offline. Well, Eddie Betts uh, fumbles what he should have taken. Thornton dropped the handball that he should have taken. And uh, you've just got to say, the Blues aren't good enough. Fremantle doing the early attacking here. And uh, Carlton making some mistakes under pressure. Austin, though, recovers from his own error to Scotland to Hadley. Carlton badly needing the first goal of this last term. Mark Murphy a bit quieter in the third term. Goes to Betts, but Dodd, who's had the job there all night, much bigger man, makes the spoil here. And a good spoil too by Dodd. Got the uh, left fist on it. And a frustrated uh, Carlton coach in Brett Ratton. Now this, this was a must-win game for Carlton. I wonder what Mark Harvey's thinking was in giving Dodd responsibility for Betts. Sandilands dominating the air. Shammer been very good all night. Mundy been a solid contributor too. Delivering to McFarlane. Jamison ties him up. Armfield. Bauer. Hayden's coming at him. Bauer just shakes him off. Gives it back to Armfield. The Carlton defence under the pump. Austin mown down by Hinkley. Peak did well to Shepherd Scotland out. Murphy kicks the goal for the Dockers and gives them what might be the winning break. Some of the handball by the Carlton players. Gee, can they put a teammate under pressure? Now, that is just a hospital handball. The ball hangs in the air. There's a great tackle, Rob, by Hinkley, who just sweated off Austin, grabbed one arm in the tackle, forced the error. 
And Brett Bratton would not be happy about that. So still plenty of time for Carlton. Well, you say plenty of time for Carlton. They what kick 